guys we just finished watching the most recent episode of blue lock the u20 arc is about to get started we have two trailers one for the blue lock 11 and one's for u20 i hear some people complaining if you look at that <laughs> look at the ratio here bro oh the, the u20 trailer is looking bad what about the blue lock 11 the blue lock 11 is not bad so we'll, we'll save this one later uh, well, let's watch this one first all right let's check it out let's go who are the main characters being highlighted i love that oliver is really getting glazed because you know they were really hyping him up during the trailers too there's shido all uh rin oliver isagi sai and nagi good to see that nagi hasn't been just power crept and left behind he's i think he's honestly amazing goalkeeper gaga mountain man for sure mountain man is gonna have a goal save doing like a scorpion kick like this right <laughs> I can't believe they fucking did this to the most breedable character in Blue Lock. Bro, they just dragged his ass. <laughs> Center back. Karas no. Glam. Ocean. Glam. Karasu. Nico, never mind. Batsura, let's go. Batsura, no longer with his, you know, imaginary monster friend. It would be kind of cool if Batsura hits like a limit and he has like a schizo moment. And like, you know how right now in ReZero, Garfield has like these inner conflicts with Elsa. Imagine the imaginary friend comes out and says, you desire power and Batsura goes like dark mode. I don't know. That's my head cannon. Karasu. Mr. Hands. Ninja. Woo. 1v1 master. Nagi. Our main character, man. And then the true main character. And yes, there is all just reused visuals for the Blue Lock 11. But that's the funny part, that the reused animation trailer is the one that's not getting cooked in the fucking ratios. Main character. <laughs> Alright, there's our Blue Lock 11. And keep in mind that, like, you know... Red cards, injuries, stuff like that can happen. Who knows exactly who's going to be coming in to substitute and play. I really want Baro to show up. I really want Temple Monk to do something. There's a lot of other characters that I want to have, you know, highlights. But who knows what's going to happen. And that's it. 11-9 kickoff, which means in about, you know, six days, like right next episode. But we're not done just yet. We got this one. And this one... Look, the, the it, it's not looking good. I, I don't know what happened here. I, I'm i gonna... <laughs> Can we see some comments? <laughs> okay, okay, before we start this, I wanna read the comments. <laughs> it looks like it's just not for an audience who thinks the animation is bad, so the Japanese audience is cooking them up, I guess. Just don't let a pit studio ruin this series any further. <laughs> Give season 3 to any studio that uses their, all their budget, right? Please, I agree. And remember, 8-Bit Studios is the studio, but it's not completely their fault. It's the production committee, the higher decision makers, who is Bandai Namco, who is coincidentally also involved in other projects such as Tower of God. And if you've been following Targa Season 2, you know that's been also fucking doo-doo water, right? Oh boy. <laughs> Should we click translate to English here? I have no complaints about the voice actors. But from what I've seen in the PBs, the animation is worse. <laughs> it looks like a picture story show. <laughs> More Japanese people. This is definitely a still image lol. PBs like this usually only use scenes with good animation. And that's the thing, right? For trailers, it's supposed to be the highlights. The best of the best is supposed to be represented in order to catfish the audience into thinking that it's going to be actually good. But the trailer itself is not even good. <laughs> Uh-oh, some more comments. Seriously, the manga is more movie. <laughs> I would be happier if they did a voiceover comic with the voice actors that they are. Honestly, like, low-key, that might be the better experience, bro. 
<laughs> oh, this is no good. In the first place, it seems that the director and other things have changed in the first season. So the second season will not change in the variety of still images and extremely rare SSR production. <laughs> they are saving the budget for the U20 arc. Trust me, bro, my ass. And that is the copium that we even die on, right? Just the entire blue lock has been, guys. Priority arc. It's gonna be U20. Just trust me, bro. Just have faith. So here's the next level of code. For now, I'm sure in the U20 arc, there must be super highlights, right? All the U20 shit is not going to be super hype. Well, I'm sure it will be, but there's going to be episodes relative to others that's going to be even better. So at the very end, so like the last two minutes of play. <laughs> so guys, rather than, the new cope right now is no longer. Guys, just wait for U20. No, no, no. The new cope is guys. Just wait for the last fucking minutes of the U20 arc or the real hype shit. <laughs> oh no. For the anime fans, please read the original. The original works much better. Also, the drawing is simply too harsh in a good way. U20. Voice actors for U20 regulars are too gorgeous. Yeah, voice actors are great, right? To be honest, it's amazing how the voice actors are properly assigned, even though it's rather chubby character. Yeah, yeah the, the voice actors, again... They're, fen they're phenomenal. They're saving the budget for U20 match my ass. This is totally a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> Still image premonition. <laughs> Thank you to all the voice actors. Yeah, exactly, right? The voice actors are gorgeous, more VA equal glaze. <laughs> it's my favorite manga in the world. Please stop making your fans sad. I really don't care about the circumstances, the production companies or committees, so please don't sell the anime cheap. And that's the saddest thing, right? You know, like, um, the... So, if you... I think we've done reading the comments. I think we should start the actual trailer reaction, but, like... At the end of the day, it's basically these higher decision makers in, uh, you know, Bandai Namco and 8-Bit Studios that takes on these extra projects that they cannot properly, you know, deliver. And then the animators literally are getting their work cut out. If you saw the other video where I covered, you know, the reason, like, Blue Lock Animator speaks out. There is, like, an outsourced guy who was willing to speak out because he can have, he doesn't live in Japan. He can, you know, simply get other jobs, right? But a lot of people in Japan can't really speak out. And they said they work so much and they intentionally left the animation out at the final cut because to save resources and we're thinking maybe maybe they're just saving it for u20 but if the trailer is looking actually that bad i don't know let's find out for ourselves oliver <laughs> i saw that ball move I, I see the ball move right here. Timing. Okay. Oh, nice side back. Basically, Garo from One Punch Man, but with beady eyes. <laughs> I mean, oh, sorry, sorry, my headphone fucking died. Well, one second. The trailer is so ass that my AirPods are has, has decided to stop working. One second. But, like, if you see the animation right here, like, they're just, like, sliding around, right? So this is the same shit where you see, like, Chigiri just being dragged across to kind of, like, highlight these different moments. Yeah, look at that. They're sliding. You telling me this guy's a fucking high... This, this is an under-20-year-old dude, bro? This dude served 20 years in prison, bro. This dude looks like he has kids that look like the Blue Lock 11s. <laughs> That guy didn't even move. That, that, guy, that, that was just a dialogue. They just showed a close-up of his face and they just showed him talking. At least his mouth is moving. Oriba. Surely. Oliver is supposed to be like the highlight of the U20 excluding, you know, Shiro and Sai. So like, surely they're gonna do him justice, right? Well, he looks cool. The art looks cool, but nothing's really moving other than his hair, I guess. Um, Isagi and Oliver. It's looking like these two are being positioned to, I don't know, like, mirror each other? I wonder if we're gonna learn anything from Oliver. He looks sick. What the... He's moving. I feel like there's some sort of like a religious inspired theme for this character. And it'd be cool if Temple Monk was in here, you know, against this guy, you know. But look at him. He's sliding around. Ooh. Ooh. 
ちょっと来るかいおっちゃん打たせないよ That's it? That's it? Did you just throw the ball of this being dream world? Okay, Pocha. Utasena yo. Alright. This guy just reminds me of like a cult member or like a school shooter, bro. Oh, look at the way he dragged. Look at the way he ran in there. Oh, dude, that's he just slid. He just slid in. I'm gonna go frame by frame. So, I'm going frame by frame right now. <laughs> bro, come on, you can't hide this shit from me. I'm thinking frame by frame, bro. What the fuck are you? Man, I can do the same shit too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Just bro, come on. Alright, more balls moving. <laughs> Wait, this entire thing is su barashi. Barashi. Okay. Sai, no, the star striker. I mean, let's look at the kick there. Let's look at the let's cook it. Let's look at the kick from the star striker there. Yeah. Mm. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah, shit, 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 sorry. I'm just trying to do too many commands at the same time. Let's see the... Eh. Eh. I mean, there's, there's some movement, I guess. It's nice to see an actual fucking kick happen, because usually... You, like, what happens usually is that all you see is the finish of the kick, and the ball is already in the fucking neck, right? Side. Yo, where's Shido? Shido's the wild card sub, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> and that's about it, guys. I don't know how you guys feel about, you know, this so far, but the most atrocious animation is being delivered in the U20 portion to... <sighs> well, we did say, right? Let him cook. We really don't know. We should always hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. It's looking like a lot of the U20 scenes are just literally the same caliber of animation that we've seen from Blue Lock Season 2 so far. But... <laughs> and, and, and I want to say, I, I really wanted to say, like, just wait for, you know... The last like five minutes of the actual playtime in the U20 arc. I'm sure all the crazy is gonna happen there. Maybe all the budget's gonna go there, guys. But wouldn't you think that they would have at least hinted or like given some of those frames in the trailer? Like a trailer is supposed to really show the best part. Like you saw in the comment section, right? The trailer is supposed to really just show the highlights of all you got so that you can catfish the audience. But they're not even catfishing. <laughs> they're, they're not even fucking catfishing, and that's what worries me, but, uh... We might be low-key cooked, but I will still be there. I will still be there to cover it, and it's honestly really fun to cover the downfall of Bulok. As, as sad as it is, a lot of community memes and many people just laughing at it, it's actually very fun.